Hello and welcome back to Hardware Set Info. In the video, I will show you first things to do after setup on Redmi Pad 2 Pro. Let's begin! So, this device is freshly after the hard reset and let's actually start getting the setup of our tablet after the actual setup. So the very first thing you want to do after you have performed the factory reset, the rest the setup or you have just recently bought this device, you want to expand the control center by swiping from the top to the bottom, especially in the right corner of the tablet, and then you want to simply go and press and hold on to the Wi-Fi. Now, go into more settings. And after we have done that, we should see all network, uh, not all different networks that can be found in your close proximity. Now we want to head into the network that we are interested in. Usually it's your network, unless you are stealing the Wi-Fi from your neighbor or something like that. Uh, but without joking, uh, let's just input the password to our own network. Alternatively, you could scan the password from like your friend or family member or co-worker or something like that. Uh, but we can just input the password for simplicity. And after we have done that, we can simply go and hit connect. And if the password is correct, we can now go and use our internet. This is very useful because actually many different applications and things we're going to do in this video do require internet access. Now, the moment we actually get internet, before adding, for example, Google accounts and everything like that, we want to go into System Apps Updater. And this is some built-in updater for applications that are currently built in. As you can see, we can even go into all updates. So now we can see that we also have an update to Mi Gallery, Mi Notes, Casting, and Feedback. If you don't really care about certain applications, for example, let's say I don't really care about the casting, you could update individually everything. But I'm just going to hit Update All. Uh, just because these are all the built-in applications and I probably want to have them um, on time and to have them with the best and latest releases of bug fixes and security fixes and all of that, especially with my gallery because, well, I actually have my <laughs> applications in here and photos and everything else. Now, let's go into About Tablet. Oh, sorry, uh, not the really after tablet. Let's go into uh, security status and we can go into security update. And you can actually see that no security update is, um, is new. Is new. We can also scan our tablet. I know it's technically right after a hand reset, right after you have bought it. However, if you were trying to buy it second hand, it's a very good practice to scan, even though you have just recently bought it. However, after we have already checked for software updates and the about the tablet and everything is good, let's scroll all the way down, let's go to Google and let's add ourselves a Google account because without a Google account we won't be able to use the Play Store and we use Play Store to... Oh, that's pretty interesting. We actually use Play Store to download notifications. So let's hit sign in. And before we actually sign in, we need to verify that it's indeed us. Now, you'll notice that I have the lock screen enabled, and this is because I actually lied to you. I did only one thing before the recording, and this was lock screen to show you that certain things do require security measures, like enabling lock screen. Now, I'm not, go not going to show you the lock screen itself, uh, but note that you can always... Okay, fine, I will show it. And you can always find it in the settings after you go into the face data and screen lock. Then you go to screen lock and you simply choose your own screen lock. I chose pattern personally because I think it's probably the fastest one. And then you probably want to stop the password just so you can have increased security for our device. Anyway, going back to the Google account, let's simply edit our credentials and let's actually add them. And now, as a little fun fact, you don't actually have to type in dot at gmail.com. The only, oh, sorry, the only first part of, oh, I can't, I have no idea how I typed that in, but sure. Uh, the only first half of your Gmail is good enough, seriously. If it's correct, then uh, the at gmail.com is just not necessary to input, and the Google will put it automatically for you. I know that this is, it's not like, it won't really save you a ton of time, but hey, it's, it's a nice fun fact. Anyway, after some while, we can now input the password to our Google account. 
and after we have done that, let's simply go into next. And now we have integrated terms of service, play terms of service, and privacy policy of Google. Note that we can't really disagree to this, so we only have one option here. And now, after a moment, we should be able to, well, actually do nothing. We have our Google Play, and we only see this because I have signed in via the Play Store, but we can always see this by just going to the Play Store after logging in. And now we can simply go to the things, and we should be able to install any kind of application we want. But before we go through the shopping phase, before we try to download anything, uh, let's actually do quite different things. First of all, let's get rid of every single bloatware we have on our device. And in order to see all applications, we actually can't. This is because the app drawer by default is disabled. And I think this is pretty weird because I think app drawer is a very nice way uh, for you to pay to keep like all your garbage, every single application on your phone. And the home screen is, at least for me, reserved for those pretty applications. And yeah, let's just enable the app drawer back. We can do that by going to the settings then going down a little, heading to home screen, and going into home screen settings and switching from classic to with app drawer. Then we also have app suggestions, I will disable this, and you will soon see why. And we also have the manage app categories, and you can see that we actually cannot really disable this, and this is kind of a shame, but I think this is very nice, because now whenever we go into the uh, our app drawer, we have the every kind of app on our tablet right now. Oh, I have accidentally performed a screenshot. We perform a screenshot by swiping three fingers down. By the way, that's a pretty nice fun fact. But anyway, we can now see we can fully categorize every single different application, which I believe is very good for, for, for finding some useless things. Now, uh, the Redmi R is actually pretty good in terms of bloatware, trust me, in years of recording tutorials, I have seen much worse devices that would throw so much garbage at you, but still, we could remove some applications that we don't want to and that were automatically installed. Let's go into the settings. Now let's go into the apps here, and now we should see every single application. We also have some different things like background, background auto start, dual apps, and app lock, but we won't really bother, uh, we won't really going to tackle them in this video. So let's see some application, let's actually find something that was installed previously and that maybe we don't really want to. For example, I don't remember installing a LinkedIn, so let's just uninstall it. And that's also pretty cool, because I know many different devices that actually don't allow you to uninstall certain browser application, so that's not very good. And it's worth noting that all of these applications kind of work in the background, kind of waste your space, your battery, everything, so removing bloatware is very, very important. I will also go and, for example, oh, we can't do anything with my coin, unfortunately, this is because it's probably the Xiaomi application. However, we can disable the Netflix, because it was pre-installed for some reason, and maybe I'm not a Netflix user, because I don't want to pay the subscription fee. Maybe I am also not chronically addicted to my phone, and I don't, I'm, not a, I'm not a user of TikTok. I know, crazy. So we can go and uninstall this as well. And generally speaking, you just want to go through every single application here and ask yourself, am I going to really use it? Of course, there are applications that cannot be uninstalled, for example, calculator. Oh, you can actually uninstall the calculator, that's pretty funny. Um, but for example, camera is uninstallable, uninstallable, and I think everyone knows kind of why. And many different applications are just built in. However, just as I showed you with like, oh, the Chrome is also un uninstallable, uh, but the TikTok wasn't, the LinkedIn wasn't, and yeah, you just want to generally uh, find everything. And now, as one of the last things I want to mention, we can go into Play Store, and actually, for for some reason now we have very very weird applications because we have like pixel camera even though we have a camera application we have chat gpt we have pixel troubleshooting and all of different things and that's pretty funny because we do not have a pixel phone it's a redmi tablet so we can just uncheck everything here and just press skip 
now I'm going to Play Store not to show that Hey, did you know that you can go into the search bar, search, and you can search for everything? Because this is like self-explanatory, let's be honest. You can know what you want to go and add like Facebook, you can just type in Facebook and you can install Facebook, that's that's all. Instead, I want to show you something very cool in the Play Store. We can go into the, our icon here in the top right corner and then let's go into manage apps and device. Now we can see updates available. Let's go into see details. And now we have every single application and feature, for example, the Gboard and everything else that is currently installed on our device that does have an update pending. As you could see, and as you could probably remember, we kind of already did that with some built-in applications in our settings, uh, but are, there are only a couple of applications there, and here is the vast majority. So if you want, you can just boom, and now we are updating everything. Uh, which will probably eat a lot of your internet, but hey, you will have everything uh, at the newest release, which I think is really important to just keep your applications and keep your tablet up to the date. And therefore, I'm also trying to say that you probably want to check for security updates and software updates relatively early, relatively soon. And just because they are very, very important in actually using our phone. And we can close the Google Play Store now because everything will be installing uh, right now. And there, uh, there are many, many different things here. And as a very last thing, let's simply expand our notification bar and let's go into finish setting up our device. This can be seen whenever you perform a factor reset or if you buy a freshly new Redmi Pass 2 Pro. So let's go into start. Now we can set up using another device. This is very useful. And though we all kind of already did that, if you have an older device, you have probably used it already in the setup. So I'm just going to go to skip. And this is only because I don't really have an older device on me right now. And now we are getting our tablet ready. We are checking our info. We are getting our account info. And usually, if we wouldn't be logged into our Google account, we would probably have to log in now. We also have the ability to copy apps and data, which is very incredibly useful. However, once again, I do not really have an older device, which is kind of a shame. So let's simply go with don't copy. But note that if you do have an older device, please uh, make yourself a treat and just copy all your older applications. And then we have anything else with two things. We can change the wallpaper. By default, of course, we only have some pre-built wallpapers, but the moment you actually start downloading things and making pictures of your former camera, you can set them as your wallpaper as well. And we have some basic uh, functionality of customizability. Because we have the missions font enabled, we can also go into default font. And though note that default font cannot be uh, changed with the uh, weight, so we have to go into missions. And now this font actually has the ability to be fully customizable in terms of its boldness, which I think is very, very cool. And yeah, that's that's all for this video. We can just click finish now, and after a few seconds or maybe a few minutes, as you can see, a few seconds, our tablet should be ready to be used. Now what you want to do is you probably want to go into Play Store, install yourself a bunch of applications, log in into your favorite Gmails, and yeah, you're pretty good to go. If you found this video useful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and if you have some more interesting tips and tricks about setting up your phone, or in our case, a tablet, after setup, you can always share them down in the comments below. But yeah, that's all from me. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!